I have the pleasure of welcoming Dr. Harsha Sinha, rank 79 in AIMS May 2016 Postgraduate Medical Entrance Exam. A proud Damsonian and we welcome formally her here Dr. Harsha Sinha and congratu congratulate her on her performance. So Dr. Harsha, how are you feeling? I feel elated and uh, at the beginning of a new eventful journey and the end of a new and the end of the preparation phase. Oh, definitely, yes, and the journey is definitely going to be wonderful in the coming years. Uh, I come straight away to a direct question to you, uh, with a direct question to you. How did you prepare for the exam? Uh, my strategy was very uh, simple because I had a positive of time. I, I, I um, joined DAMS after my internship last year, and once DAMS started, I stuck to DAMS notes, classroom uh, notes, and then at the end of the week, I used to give the tests on the on my account and that was all I did I did not solve uh, any kind of MCQ book I uh, only later um, I mean at the beginning of March this year I started with AIMS question bank and appeared for AIMS well, that's that's very uh, nicely uh, told by you and uh, you know but Dr. Harsha everybody would agree that uh, when you're preparing when you started preparing for tough exams like AIMS or PGI or even AIPG time is the biggest constraint so how did you manage your time um, I had once read a very powerful book called uh, The Power of Habits and it, 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 it kind of reinforced uh, what I already knew from the beginning is that we have to form a habit system and stick to it. Hmm. We cannot make small excuses every day. So get up at a particular time, reach the library or wherever you study at a particular time, get started as soon as possible and stick to your routine. Just form it a habit, not make you know excuses every day. So. I found the book late, but finally, yeah, I could uh, make a schedule and stick to it. Well, that's that's very important, you see. And I have been taking these interviews uh, from quite some time now. And one thing that has come out common every time that is making a schedule and sticking to that. And uh, definitely, this helps. And I hope all our listeners are going to benefit themselves by your inputs. Uh, Dr. Harsha, may I ask you, what was your method of preparation? Was it more selective or was it more extensive? Uh, I think selective. It mm -hmm. worked for me in the, you know, Central Institute exams. I think it did not work for me in the DNB and All India patterns because I did not do very well in those exams. But uh, yeah, for me, for these exams, I think selective works. Conceptual selective study. Yes. Well, that's very nicely put. Conceptual selective study. Uh, that's a new term I'm going to coin from now, and that's very relevant as well. And uh, let me ask you here, Dr. Harsha, how important was DAMS in your preparation? It was extremely important because uh, I had no other source of knowing how the exams were going to be. We, uh, in our college in KMC Manipal, we did not really, uh, we did not at all go for these MCQ books. We did not read these MCQ books. We start on them only after we finish internship or some of them start it during internship. Hmm. So once, it was only once I started working with DAMS, started uh, studying with DAMS that I, reali that I realized the pattern of these exams and um, I think I have given most of their subject-wise tests on my series. I have given most of their grant tests. I gave the CBT and I followed their discussions and what went wrong, what went right and everything. So all my tests and all have been just dams and nothing else. Well, that's wonderful to know and let me remind my viewers here, I am talking to Dr. Harsha Sina, ranked 79 in AIMS May 2016 Postgraduate Medical Entrance Exam. Uh, I, I think you would agree, Dr. Harsha, that DAMS is quite active on the online medium. We have an exclusive club on the Facebook and then we also have DAMS Cloud. Uh, can we have your experience on that? Uh, I'll be honest, I could not follow the DAMS Facebook club last year because of time constraints. Uh, I was only doing class notes and the DAMS tests. But the beginning of this year, yes, I have started following the club and I found it really helpful, especially the, you know, uh, a lot of these MCQ books have wrong answers. So instead of uh, Googling them or instead of uh, asking uh, other colleagues what the answer could be, we could just look them up on the DAMS club, which was very, very helpful. And most of them are faculty answered anyway. So, we can, uh, so that was helpful for me, especially in the last uh, three, four months. That's very, very nice to know and uh, uh, these are valuable inputs that you're sharing with us. I thank you once again for doing that for us. Uh, as we all know, the, uh, DAMS conducts a DVT session in Delhi every year at the Tal Katora Stadium, New Delhi. Uh, could you attend that? And if yes, then how was the experience? I attended Dam, uh, DAMS DVT back in Manipal through satellite and it was just as good, powerful, impactful and I had those 50 pages of notes which I revised just before going to my November AIMS paper. 
and I found them extremely helpful. They kind of put everything in a nutshell and it, it worked for me. The pictures shown there were useful in some way, the questions did come yes, from Yes, definitely and even if the pictures were not directly from there because, uh, you know, but the approach and certain points which, you know, the faculty kept repeating, remember this, remember that, it kind of comes back to you in the exam if you've listened properly. So, yeah, it worked for me. DBT was extremely helpful, very impactful. Oh, that's great to know. And also we conduct uh, the CBTs throughout the year. Uh, did you take our CBTs? Yes, I did in October, right. And how was your experience? Uh, I did not do quite well again, mm. but uh, yeah, it was good. It was good to know that where I stand amidst all these thousands of people who appear for the exam. And um, also, yeah, I knew my weak points straight away, which was very important. I did not know that I was not so good in certain subjects till I gave CBT and realized that my major, where my major flaws were. So, yeah. And let me share here that uh, the entire motive behind uh, this exercise of, you know, conducting CBTs is give you a real feel of the exam one and also to let you know that where do you actually stand and from now on what you have to focus upon. Well, uh, that's very nice to know from you as well. Uh, we have, for, you know, uh, DAMS has uh, quite a number of uh, publications to our credit. Uh, I'm referring to the Last Look series and the Comprehensive Review series and, of course, the Harrison's Notebook. Well, what's your call on our publications, Dr. Harsha? Uh, I think it, uh, all those, a lot of effort has been made, uh, has been put into making the mixed pack, which is exceptionally, exceptionally good. The second one was comprehensive uh, review series. I did not have time to go through, um, I did not have time to go through all of them, but I did uh, do anesthesia, ENT from these uh, CRS, and yeah, I think, I think they kind of uh, complemented what was there in the notes. And Harrison uh, Notebook, I've done a couple of tables from them. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think I'm uh, you know, qualified enough to comment on that because I did not go through the book. Well, then I would say still <laughs> you have been, you know, uh, phenomenally good, you know, and securing a rank of 79. I'm talking to Dr. Harsha Sina here. She has secured a rank 79 in AIMS May 2016 postgraduate medical entrance exam. A quick word on the DAMS evaluation system. Uh, I'm referring to the subject-wise test and the grand test and the other test, revision tests that we give to the students uh, for, for, for evaluation. A quick word on that. I think it's effective and it's much better than doing MCQ books because you get on the spot rank and um, it's exactly how the original exams are like you know online and clicking on multiple choice mm -hmm. so must do recommend it for all my juniors oh, that's great that's wonderful to know uh, any any faculty in particular you know would you like to mention here who have influenced you the most it's difficult to pick out one faculty because all of them have done exceptionally uh, like put in a lot of effort, mm. but I would just like to mention uh, Dr. Sanjeev Chitragat who taught us patho in uh, Manipal batch. Mm. Uh, the reason being that because it was running short of time, I did not touch any MCQ book mm. and he kind of reinforced my belief that it was okay to not do MCQ books and stick to concepts and keep revising them. Mm -hmm. So because the faculty of that stage were, you know, reinforced that in me, I was quite confident that I'm not doing it entirely wrong. Maybe, you know, it's okay to not do MCQ books, just do dams tests and all to get to know the, you know, pattern, but uh, MCQ books were, you know, dispensable, you can keep them aside. Well, that's a I, and of course, Dr. Khandelwal, because surgery, I'd, I've been afraid of surgery all my life, mm -hmm. and he really broke it down and minced it to very simple facts, very simple concepts, and that worked for me. So, thank you. <laughs> that's great. That's uh, some kind words uh, from Dr. Harsha here. Uh, have you decided upon what branch you're going to opt? <laughs> Uh, I am undecided presently, okay. but I think it will be a choice between ophthal and anesthesia. Okay, uh, all the best to you. And before we wind up this conversation, any message to your juniors? Uh, to juniors, yes. Um, stay away from the fear market. Do not give in. Just make a schedule. Um, get rid of negative people. Put your head down and keep going. Yeah. And would you recommend of joining DAMS? Yes, definitely, definitely, definitely. You have to join DAMS and stick to it. Like, uh, like a you know, blind belief, you can just stick to it. Well, thank you very much. And uh, I formally thank Dr. Harsha Sinha here, rank 79 in AIMS May 2016 postgraduate medical entrance exam. We wish you all the best in whatever endeavors you take upon in the future and wish you all the best. God bless you. Thank you.